Welcome back into the ASOG News Studio. We are broadcasting live here on the show floor at the SAP Business Objects User Conference. Also, we are co-located with the SAP Business One Summit this year, and we are having various members and participants come down and talk to us about what's going up on the third floor. And we are very delighted to have Paul Kindlingsworth here. Welcome into the studio. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, Paul, you are the customer relations and solution expert team. You lead that team for Business One North America for SAP America. Correct. That was a long title. Yes. <laughs> but I, I think I got everything. Um, so we're going to talk about you know, how you see the, the Business One market, the trends, changes that are happening. So first, you just want to talk a little bit about your job and what you do for SAP America? Yeah, absolutely. So as you read, I've got two uh, primary focuses. Mm -hmm. One is with customer relations. Anything that relates to customer issues that isn't handled through the usual channels, mm -hmm. through the partner channel, uh, and a customer needs to speak directly with SAP, mm -hmm. uh, that's what me and my team do. Mm -hmm. The other aspect is the solution expert team, and it is exactly what you think it is, what mm -hmm. it sounds like. Our team uh, is responsible for taking the product from development, rolling it out into the channel, uh, enabling partners, giving training, doing uh, uh, testing, and, and that kind of thing for the partners. Great. So for those people watching, those millions of people watching, right. who may not know what Business One is, can you just give a brief explanation about what software is and what Absolutely. it does? Uh, Business One is one of the SAP offerings for the small to medium-sized enterprise market. Um, it fits mostly in the lower tier of the small to medium size. Uh, but with some of the recent advances, uh, we're actually breaking into a little uh, higher up in mm. the higher end market now. Why do you think that is? Uh, technology. Technology improvements, not only in the hardware and infrastructure, but uh, with some of the innovations with cloud and HANA, it's mm -hmm. kind of moving the ceiling up for us a little bit. Well, it's interesting. Cloud obviously is a great avenue for people to, to do more. Uh, HANA, that can be scary to some, I'm sure, B1 customers who have, uh, as you said, small organizations. You know, how do you think, and I know it's still a little early, but how do you think you'll, your SAP will be able to roll out HANA to the smaller customers? 